Hey, what's up everyone? I haven't done a uh, firearm fallacy video in a while, but um, this is one that I see. It's really easy to cover, but um, it's something I see a lot, and that's people um, saying that, oh, your magazine should always just drop straight down when you're doing a mag change. You know, and if it doesn't, you're, you're doing it wrong or whatever. Hold your rifle horizontal so it drops straight out first and whatever. And uh, that's their advice, right? For doing emergency reloads. <clears throat> Number one, avoid emergency reloads at all costs. Um, you know, tech reloads, keep your, uh, keep your rifle topped off. Again, I've never done anything other than attack reload in combat. Part of that's just prior planning, right? But in terms of emergency reloads, I understand on the range going for your fastest times because you're uh, so in love with your shot timer that uh, you can't stray away from it. Um, you may think that, you know, oh yeah, I'm always gonna need to hold my rifle horizontal and stuff. Well, guess what? In the real fucking world, in real life, in a gunfight, you're probably not just gonna be standing out in the open. I hope not. Um, which means you may be maneuvering around other people, you may be behind cover, and your rifle might not be horizontal, okay? Now, depending on the magazines that you have, they might still drop free even if your gun is you know, canned up like that. But they might not, you know? If you got uh, P-Mags and stuff like that, they tend to kind of grip a little bit better. They're grippy, which is good to grab onto out of your pouches, but it also grips the inside of your mag well a little bit, right? Um, so you gotta be aware of that. And you gotta understand that, um, you know, you need to do some training where, um, you know, you're not doing just perfect, like this is the most ideal scenario to reload. Um, you need to do some uncomfortable reloads in some weird positions um, and understand how your weapon and your magazines are gonna function under that kind of a situation, right? So definitely um, just get out there, train, train behind cover, you know, train some different stuff and uh, see if your mags drop free. And if not, all you gotta do Get your rifle up, right? <clears throat> or or if you feel that magazine not pop out and your hand isn't down at your mag yet, strip it first, magazine in, and get the gun up, right? <clears throat> Again, real real life situation, you know, there's gonna be dirt and dust and mud and shit in your gun, it might not slide free. You might have your gun at an angle that you wouldn't have it at when you're filming a video for Instagram for your shot timer times or whatever, you know? Combat is not controlled in any way, shape, or form, and uh, you need to be ready for that kind of like organic moment when you gotta adapt to the situation and figure it out and still solve the problem, right? Anyway, this is mainly just to get you guys to understand that um, in real life, there's going to be all kinds of weird situations that may not come up in training in like your kind of standard like training that people will show online. Um, but it's going to happen in real life and uh, you're going to fumble. You're going to fumble a bunch probably. Um, but that's why you need to do more realistic training. You need to be get out and be running around and uh, using cover and stuff like that and uh, learning how to do that stuff, right? That's going to set you up for success if you ever have to do that for real. Take care. Remember, if you like the video, others might too. Make sure you hit the like button and smash that fucking subscribe button like this.